Hello IT Pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. So in this video we are going to downgrade the BIOS version of a Dell computer, in this case it's an Optiplex 3010, to an, even, to an even lesser version than last week, or the last video, depending when you're watching this. So this video technically is part 2 for this video, Dell BIOS downgrade using a USB. So this video um, was released, well I released it last week, or a week ago, and as of today, it has 28 views. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Which means it's a total success. <laughs> I'm not joking. To have 28 views in a new video in one week, for me, it's a lot. Okay, so I'm not, I'm not trying to joke about this or anything. So it, it's a lot. So that's why I'm doing the follow-up, the second part. So if you want, I advise you to watch this video first because many things I'm going to do here, I'm not going to explain it again. For example, why, it's a not, why it is not a good idea to downgrade your BIOS version. So if you're interested in that, you can watch this video and, go, you, can, and you can do it clicking on the top right of the screen here. So to watch this video first. Now, the second thing I'm going to do, well, like, like, like I said, I'm going to downgrade again this uh, Dell Optiplex 3010 to an even lesser version, okay? So right now, this um, Dell Optiplex has uh, the BIOS version A17, and uh, the latest is A22. It had A22 last video, I downgraded it to A17, and we are going to now downgrade it to A11. I'm going to show you this in a few more minutes. And for that end, I need a USB. So for this video as well, I'm going to use this uh, process of creating a bootable USB. So this one is recommended by Dell. You can download. I'm going, to, uh, I'm going to leave the link in the description below for this tool. But in the last video, I explained how to do it. I'm also going to uh, leave the link below. On, this is a video I made some, <clears throat> some months ago. And it explains you how to create this bootable USB. Uh, the, the software belongs to Dell itself, so it's secure, so Dell is a re reputable company. And that's what we're going to do. In the last video, we used, uh, uh, we used another method. It, it does the same, but uh, you create a bootable D DOS USB, okay? So for that, I already have the USB created. It's over here. Uh, you can see my, uh, my IT workshop. And this USB is 32 gigabytes. But when you use this tool, it shrinks any size that you may have to two gigabytes. Okay, so that's why you see here 1.96 gigabytes. But in reality, it's 32. So I'm going to, uh, this, uh, like I mentioned, this one is ready. I have already done it. You see these two default uh, files. You don't have to do anything with them. Just copy what you need here, the, the BIOS update. So, but before I want to show you how to uh, download the BIOS. So um, I'm going to use uh, Microsoft Edge. You can use Google Chrome and for a search engine, you can use, I'm going to use Bing. You can use Google you can use Ecosia. You can use DuckDuckDuckGo. You can use Jandex. You can use anything that you may like. So I'm going to go to, no, it's not this one. Dell Optiplex 3010 BIOS. I just type it like that in my web browser while well, I'm at search engine. And I'm going to open the first three just to see. One, two, and uh, three. So the first one, now that's a store. I don't need this. Uh, this one, kind of, but the one I'm looking for is like that. So you see Dell Optiplex, well, mine doesn't look like this. <laughs> You're going to see it. It's the slimmer version, but it's going to work the same. Uh, so I come here and I tap BIOS and it's going to shrink it down to all the BIOS updates. So you can see here uh, Dell Optiplex 3010 system BIOS. The latest version came out in December last year. Um, and if I check, uh, the latest version is A22. So I'm going to go to all the versions and I show this, uh, well, this table in uh, this table, this spreadsheet, this list, this older version, <laughs> I don't know what this is called. I showed this on the last video uh, and we down downgraded it to 817. So now I'm going to try to downgrade it even farther. So the farthest I can go is to A11 that came out in 2013. So I'm going to download this. I already have it as you have seen it. 
Uh, I go here and download file. So it's for almost five gigabytes. Gigabyte, what I'm talking about? For only five megabytes, you download it and I have it here. But this name is too long, as you can see, Optiplex 3010811. I don't like that, so I'm going to rename it to only A11, like this. And again, I'm in, um, in my USB here. I open this, we have these two default files, we don't do anything with that. And I'm just going to copy paste it. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. I'm copying A22 because if this process works, this is this is going to be the second time I downgrade this Dell Optiplex 3010. The first one was from A22 to A17, and now from A is A17 to A11. Okay, we're going to see what happens. If it works, I'm going to up, up, update it again to A22, which is the latest. Okay, again, like I said in the first video, it's not a good idea to downgrade your BIOS version because it might break your computer. All right, so having said that, I'm going to do it again. So I don't need anything else. I have everything I need from this computer. This is not the actual Dell. This is my personal, well, it's my desktop computer, the one I built. And you can do this on the Dell itself, obviously. The reason I do it here is because I can record the, you know, the, the screen and all that. So it's easier for you to watch everything. So now um, I'm going to continue recording on my cell phone and I'll see you in a few seconds. Okay, here we are back. Well, not back actually. Well, yeah, we are back to this computer. So this is the Optiplex 3010 that we used in the last video. And I have the USB here. I'm using another, another brand. The, la the one for the last video was a PNY. As you can see, it's 32 gigabyte, but it has been shrinked to two gigabytes. But you can recover. It's not that you lost it forever. You can um, delete everything and you are going to recover the 32 gigabytes. So now I have turned on the computer. I'm pressing F2 to access the BIOS. So there you go, give me a few seconds. So Dell Optiplex 3010. So then uh, allow me to do a close up and then I'm going to select system information. There you can see BIOS version A17, the one we downgraded last week or the last video. And we can see the serial number, the well, the service tag and the express code and all that. Now, what we are going to do is, uh, I don't have anything else to do in this part, so I'm going to exit, so the computer is going to restart. And now I'm going to start pressing F12 to access the boot menu. So here we are, we have the hard drive, um, we have the network card, the USB and the CD. Of course, the USB is the one we need, so I'm going to select it and press enter. Then after a few seconds, this is what we are going to see. So as you can see, copyright 20. 2006 Dell Inc. So it, it's from Dell <laughs> and it's a little different from what we have seen the last time. I mean the last video. So I'm going to issue the command dir and it's going to uh, show me all the files that I have in this uh, in this USB. So the ones we are really interested in is 8.18 and 8.22 which are the uh, BIOS updates. Well in this case downgrade. <laughs> So as you can see, the bottom is you cannot see everything. I believe it's kind of the monitor itself. I'm not really sure, but we need to type 811.exe because that's where what we want to downgrade to to this version. And then we have to press enter. If you are on a computer that it has uh, a laptop that doesn't have a battery or the battery is dead, you have to type this command 811. Uh, exe forward slash forward slash force it. So if you want to see a bit about that, I'm going to leave the link in the description below. So now, oh, since we don't need to do that, we're just going to press enter. And then we have this, this utility will update the BIOS, the system BIOS and firmware. In other words, it's telling you, if you disconnect your computer while this process is going on, your computer might be unusable. Okay, so I have a video about that. I'm going to leave the link in the description below. So I'm just going to type Y. And press enter. So it's telling me 870 is what you have right now, and 811 is what you are going to get. Uh, what you are going to get in the future. So we are we are downgrading the BIOS version. So I'm going to type Y again, and this process is fast. And then it come and the computer is going to restart. And now it comes the update, but the update process. So the video is sped up, so you don't have to wait all the real time. But it took around two minutes, two minutes and a half more or less. And after that, it's going to tell me that the, uh, the BIOS update has been successful. Then the system is going to restart itself and I'm pressing F2 again so to access the BIOS. One more time. 
So I'm going to select the same system information, allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera. And now we're going to see that the BIOS version is A11. And then we have the same service tag, the express service code, and I don't have anything else to do here. So the BIOS update, well, <laughs> downgrade has been successful. So I have removed the USB. Well, I didn't need to, but I'm going to put it again. So you can see their windows. I'm going to restart because I'm just showing that Windows is accessible, so it's working. I don't see any problem with this. So now I have restarted the computer, and now I'm going to select USB storage one more time. So here we are, I'm going to issue the command DIR, and this time we're going to upgrade it, and repeat, upgrade it to the latest version, because that's what we really need. Um, so A22 EXE, so I'm going to press enter now, and we're going to go through the process. So all this we have seen, we have A11, we're going to get A22, which is the latest that came out last year in December, I think. So again, this video is accelerated or is sped up. <laughs> uh, again, this, this one took around two minutes, two minutes and a half for the upgrade or the update. So we are checking the process. The BIOS update has been successful. Then the computer restarts and I'm going to start pressing F2 to access the BIOS. So allow me a few seconds. It's going, it's going. And here we are. So uh, Dell Optiplex 3010. And we are going to go to system information for the last time for this video. So there you go. Give it a few seconds. I was recording with my hand. That's why it's moving. So uh, allow me a few seconds, please. So there you go, BIOS version A22 and you have the service stack and all that. So it has been successful the three times. So what have we done? What have we done in this video? I have downgraded the BIOS version from the latest to A17, then to A11. Then I have upgraded again to A22, which is the latest. We have done a lot in this video. Again, it's not advisable to do a downgrade on your computer. You might break your computer, okay? So that's what I wanted to show you in this video, guys. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or question, leave it in the comment section below. And um, if this is the first time in this channel, please look around. Maybe you're going to find a video that is useful to you. So thank you very much again, and I'll see you in the next video.